Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast, the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions, the worlds of TV, film, pop culture, sports, news, lifestyle, everything really depending on the guests. We talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Peter Miotis. On social media, me is PD Beats. You'll recognize my guest from a show, of course, that's taken over the planet on Netflix. Season 3 just got launched uh, for Cobra Kai, and we were speaking to Aiden Minx, who plays Mitch. Aiden, welcome to Pop Turnative, man. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... We talked about it a little bit. I mean, we anticipated this it was going to be crazy when it dropped. Oh, and yeah. And it was crazy. That's what we got, like, plain and simple. Yeah, yeah. It was great. Like, yeah, as soon as it, like, made the, like, move over to Netflix, like, I felt like it was going to get bigger. But I did like, I didn't expect it to immediately hit, like, oh, number one show in the world. Mm-hmm. Like, just as soon as it moved to Netflix. <laughs> and then um, when it dropped season three, like, I was wondering how long it would take for it to get back to you know number one spot and it like already like is in like a couple countries i think but, yeah it, it, it's it's crazy it, it's isn't it crazy how like quick it hits on netflix specifically too yeah yeah that too i think it's just because like literally like everyone you know has a netflix account like yeah. like you don't you probably don't know someone who has a youtube account but like mm-hmm. you know everyone everyone you know probably has a red yeah netflix account yeah <laughs> absolutely and i do want to bring it up ver- bef- before i forget as well but there's a lot of things that kind of happen with your character a lot of growth throughout season season three a lot of changing of kind of dojos yeah. and everything but a big thing too and i talked to joe Sal, who plays kyler about this but the show wasn't out so we couldn't go into detail but he told me afterwards yeah. i mean a big part for you and a lot of cast members is that big fight scene at the LaRusso house. Um, and yeah. <laughs> I was just told that that was just one. Everyone saw it was like, wow. But filming that I heard was like a blast. Talk about your experience filming that whole sequence. Yeah, it was so much fun. Like just, yeah, like all the moves they were teaching us and everything we got to do. And like, um, I'm not even sure if I like ad libs like that. Come on, come on. Yeah, just like, G-g-g-g. like, that but was it, that yeah, was it, cool. That that's a cool moment of the song in the background. Like so much is yeah. going on. <laughs> like it was like it was like a really fun moment. Like I got a little chills when I watched it on screen. Like oh yeah, nice. Like, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Like um, most of most of what you're seeing, like most of like what's close and in front of the camera, that's all like extremely choreographed. But um, the stuff in the background is mostly improvised. So like we'll remember the things we doing for like other fights where it's like oh yeah block it with this hand block block with that yeah. whatever whatever mm-hmm. they throw at you this is how you block it mm-hmm. and um we were just kind of using our experience with that as to like improvise in the background of the fight scene so like when i'm in the far background like it's just me and the stunt double just like going hard like beating the shit out of each other like yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about like sequences when you're going to see if dimitri's okay like is that choreographed yeah, 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 we, yeah. Because there, we there's just, that like, scene too, right? At one point, like after the come on, you go and see if Dimitri's yeah. okay. Yeah, because like it's really cool. Like, yeah. oh yeah, I forgot. Like the, I noticed that they did this like at the end of like every season. Is like they have like they had like the one whole like like it was like one take all the way. Like there was no cuts in between it. So like they were just like bringing it throughout the house. Like it starts over there, brings you all the way through that little like pond bridge area in the yeah. center. And then it brings you out into the living room and then all the way back and around and through it. Like, it's really cool. Absolutely. Like, and you were part you were part of the big school fight scene in, in, in season two as well. So, I mean, you, you got to know. I mean, the show gets renewed for season three, right? You're going to make season three. You find out that Mitch is going to be on season three. And then you're like, you know what? We had that huge fight scene in season two. Yeah. I'm sure it comes to mind, like, what's going to happen for season three? Like, the fight yeah. scene's probably going to be bigger and better. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, they like, they really did, like, um, like bump it up, like, a little bit more, like, with this one, too. Like, it was, like, uh, my, I'd say, I think, my, like, my favorite part was when um, Hawk, like, ducked underneath it and just smashed the vase on his head. Like, I was, like... Like I, I like verbally laughed when I saw that, like just while we were taping. <laughs> Absolutely. But yeah. Now we will get back to Cobra Kai, but very quickly, there are some other projects that people will recognize you from that you did yeah. in the past. One was a show on Disney Channel called Ant Farm. You played yeah. Angus, which 
could be arguably one of the most underrated Disney Channel characters in the history of time, in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, like years later, I'm having people like comment on my stuff, like you carry Ant Farm. <laughs> like is <laughs> It's just by it's like all right, thanks for <laughs> letting me know now. <laughs> so a specific a specific scene that will never I think it will never leave you. I, I hope I don't know. I'm wondering if you know what I'm talking about right now. Um, Chinese restaurant. Oh yeah, yeah. I, that <laughs> is just um, that whole sequence is just like amazing. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It was a fun episode, and like also the. Um, the guy who like ran the restaurant, like he did like a bunch of like character voices for, from like other like cartoons and like shows yeah. that I would. I'm and he was, like, in, oh, God, and he was in the Chinese restaurant episode of Seinfeld too, which is insane yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, really, really cool. Like, like, both live in the same alternate universe. <laughs> like, <laughs> so what's that like? Because you are used to working on comedy and, you know, you worked <laughs> on Ted as well. And, you know, you did a movie that I saw on Netflix recently, a soccer movie. What was that soccer movie called? Oh yeah, uh, Golden Shoes. I yeah, think. you yeah. did. You did that. That was on. Yeah. yeah, that was on Netflix. And then you, know, you did. So, but now you're moving towards, you're moving towards like a bit of like more drama, right? Like, I, I mean, what's that kind of shift like for Aiden Minx? Yeah, like it's a, uh, it's like it's still work. It's still like a fun thing to do for me. But um, like yeah, I just, yeah, I, I kind of it just kind of like feels the same in a way. But yeah. like, uh, I. I still feel like that there's like a comedic relief in like Cobra Kai a bit, but like there, it's still definitely does. It's oh like no, serious. there's definitely comedic yeah. aspects of it, but there's some like really intense, like, Oh man, like this is yeah. going down moments in Cobra yeah. Kai where I was at farm. It's just Angus eating all the time. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's nice to be actually like have, have range too. So it's not just like all comedy or all seriousness. Like it's like, both like oh who wants a warm one like oh, oh. <laughs> mitch but, yeah. is an interesting mitch well i mean pe people at your dojos have other names for you but uh you know yeah. <laughs> mitch is a very interesting character because you don't really know what you're gonna get with him i find like i don't know yeah. if you're gonna get kind of like you you like you're a character who desperately you want to fit in you want to be part of kind of a cool yeah. crew you see it from the beginning you know what i mean yeah when you guys show up it's the champs you know what i mean like you, you show up cobra kai in season two right you want to yeah. fit in so i'm it's an interesting dynamic to see what happens to you and what happens to everything and you know it's almost like you know questions and theories come up about mitch like was there could he made more of an effort did he never want to be with cobra kai and that's why he yeah. kind of went to you know what i mean like i've ever thought about some of those theories and perspectives self-reflection mm -hmm. of your character a little bit yeah i feel like it was like like he he kind of wanted to like fit, not fit in but like he still liked like he, he like he had the wwe shirts and stuff yeah. on them like that that's what they liked is like the showman like fighting stuff but like he wanted to do what he still loved but also like still be the nerd that he was so like he so he like found like both of that in cobra kai where it's like oh i can be like a karate nerd but like i'm still like it's badass what i'm doing like i'm getting like like learning how to kick ass Absolutely. But then, uh, yeah and then just kind of like he sort of like kind of just like going with the crowd or like going with the flow so like if like if jacob tells like i mean if a hawk tells him to do something he's gonna listen yeah <laughs> and yeah so like and then just like finding whatever he can but khalil's, like, char but khalil's character you guys were like friends at the beginning i mean he yeah. like you see it right away though that he does not want any part of it like you even see it like at the at the mm -hmm. mall too right like he doesn't want to be yeah. with you guys like he doesn't like being like he doesn't like being the bad guy but i just want to do everything i can to like be like Hawk so or, i don't like, think you want to yeah. be the bad guy i think you want to be accepted i think there's a difference i'm just saying <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> because people are going to kind of look at Mitch and be like, oh, no, Mitch, like, wants to be bad, but I don't oh, think like, so. Oh, asshole, yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, look, people, the same like, thing people... with Bert, too, right? Like, when Morgan's character, Bert, I mean, like, yeah. he was a Cobra guy as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is insane. Um, When you... A little bit in terms of what you could talk about in terms of how you got involved. I mean, you, like... 
actors audition, you know what I mean? Like yeah. for, but um was there any kind of stories involved with, with how you got Mitch or how you got on Cobra Kai? Did you originally audition for other characters? Like what was that process of getting on the show like? Well, yeah, like originally I auditioned for uh Brooks, the bully from the first season. Ah, yeah. Um who, this one. Yep. But um yeah, like he he's a really cool dude too. But uh yeah, I auditioned for that originally. I didn't get it. And then I got the audition for Mitch and like I had a lot more like yeah, I got that one. So <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So it was for Mitch, right? Like yeah, the audition. Because yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. you, know, I, you I, go I, in yeah. and like they're like, hey, maybe this is good. Like, like you, you'd be a better character for this. Instead. Yeah, that, yeah. But does that they happen usually, a lot yeah. more than people think? Um it's it's weird because like when I was little, like sometimes like there'd be an entire week where every audition I'd go into, they'd be like, mm, no, Juan, here, use these sides, go back outside and then come back in when you're ready. And I'm like, oh, OK. And then like that, like it would happen for like a week. And then like just every other audition would be normal after that. And like it'd just be a random burst of like, oh, here, wrong, wrong sides for you. So you mentioned but, when like, you were younger. So I, I did bring up. So Angus, because, you know, like I did watch Ant Farm and Ant Farm was... <laughs> Uh, you Angus wasn't really in Ant Farm that much in the beginning. Like you kind of got yeah. right, but they, did they make you? Were you a like a recurring or a guest at one point on that? Yeah, that's the thing that they they were basically like after the the first season, they were basically using me as like a series regular. But yeah. they were I was still a recurring character. Okay, but uh, like like because like originally I auditioned for Fletcher, mm -hmm. and then um. What was it? like I originally auditioned for Fletcher and then me and Jake were uh, like had to go to the callbacks like multiple like almost seven times like it that's a, like a really like it's usually only supposed to be like three auditions for a role mm -hmm. like you get your audition callback and then maybe a producer session or a chemistry read to see if that's what they really want but um usually it's oh after the callback but they made us do like seven different like <laughs> producer reads because they like literally just could not make up their mind and then they just decided to come up with angus and they're like all right this is aiden's role angus <laughs> absolutely looking out the present times you've been part of two kind of massive brands two massive networks you've been on a show on disney channel now you've been on a show on netflix um what is that dynamic like? And do you think that there's been a lot of learning experiences from both those kind of brands and those networks that you're always going to be able to take for future projects? Yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's, it's humbling too, but just like being like, cause I've just been doing this like, since, like, like it was weird when I hit 14, I was able to say like, Oh, I've been doing this for more than half of my life. Yep. Cause like, like, like I've been like, I've been doing this like since I was a little kid. So now now it's just like it's just like a bunch of like i'm just used to it now like i'm familiar with it i know what i'm doing when i get to set i know that the 80s and pas like they like to know where you're going all the time because they're in charge of like where are you get them to set so they always like hearing oh i'm going to crafty by the way oh i'm going to the bathroom by the way oh i'm gonna go buy my trailer really quick i'm gonna go hang out with chris like they like they they love they love being told like where are you all the time just so that way it's not like a struggle for them to get you on set and just keep the gears like going. And it's a little but, bit <laughs> different now that you're older, you know, with 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 Cobra Kai and everything. But when you were working on Ant Farm, I mean, you were pretty young, yeah. right? So like, what yeah, was like, that kind was of on... yeah? What was that dynamic like though? Like that because yeah. like I said, like there's no way that was not challenging in some capacity with balancing school and going to a table read. Like that's not, that's that's not the normal life you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah i mean like we yeah we kind of just like switched over to homeschooling yeah and then um that was like a lot easier to keep up with because my parents are my teachers and uh they like yeah they like it's just like keeping up with my school making sure like i'm knowing everything i need to know and then um also like like they they, ha they would have school on set so they had like oh you have to get you would, you could even bank hours so like when they're not using you on set you would do school for an extra amount of time because like you have to do a specific amount of hours of schooling per day when you're on set um but you can bank hours by doing extra hours after you already completed your hours but you can't bank too much that way it's like oh i'm just gonna sit here all day and do all my homework and then i'm ready to shoot for the next two days without doing any school so gotcha. like there is still like required like amounts of time for school, but like they they like they they abide by the laws of it. But um yeah, and uh yeah like it like it 
I was kind of just like, it, like people say, I would say I'm in my element or whatever. Just like, I just felt like, Oh, relaxed when I was on set. Um, yep. yeah. Like just, just doing the lines and all that. Like, yeah. But, um, I was like, I was a bit more like, uh, like, I don't know, like ignorant as in a way, like yeah. as a kid, like I didn't like, really, like, I didn't know all the stuff that I, like, I know now where it's like, Oh, tell them where you're going. Cause like, I would be like, just, like we would finish a scene or whatever, and I'd just go back to my room, or like I'd go be hanging out in crafty, and like they'd be like, "Where's Aiden? Where's Aiden? We gotta find Aiden! Like we gotta go look over the whole set." It's like, "What? what? I'm right here," <laughs> but <laughs> and stuff like that. No, absolutely. Uh, so yeah, you look at uh, Cobra Kai now. The fan reception has just been out of this world. What's that kind of been oh, yeah. like? Did you know when did you kind of first notice the spike in social media interactions? Like it's my, it's probably like never ending right now. In the last couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, like. A little like just like a little bit after the drop, like my entire DMs have been filled with hey penis breath and just stuff like that. But yeah, Ass it's, face. it's yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's still fun. Yeah. yeah. But it's uh <laughs> yeah, it's really it's really crazy, like and humbling though, but like yeah, it, it's it's awesome like seeing the amount of like love it's getting. Yeah. It's really, really cool. Um and it's it's one of those things too where I tried to go in as fresh as I could, but in the mm-hmm. line of work I'm in with, you know, podcasting and interviewing a lot of you cast members and other podcasters, it's kind of hard. Like yeah. there's theory because like the Cobra Kai fans have a lot of theories, but know. you also, it's funny <laughs> because you, what the show also does a really good job though at, at like, um, following up with the theories that people have like i remember for example when Kree, sensei crease kind of showed up at the dojo right talking about his time in the in vietnam and everything and mm-hmm. and uh, miguel is kind of calling him out on his bluff a little bit like his his information's not that accurate yeah. right and then you know you find out in this new season that you know he's part of kind of like like a secret like a secret mission you know off the grid almost you know what i mean yeah exactly so it's 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 really really interesting um but aiden thank you so much for coming on pop alternative i really enjoyed chatting with you yeah no worries me too thank you <laughs> um so people can watch season one through three of cobra kai now on netflix they see you in season two and in the new season three which is awesome yeah yeah i can't wait it's they can exciting check it to... out. and where can people follow you on social media to keep up date with everything um everything is just uh aiden minx but my name's spelt weird so oh actually i think it might even be on the screen but it's like yeah a-e-d-i-n-m-i-n-c-k-s amazing well thank you so much man and all the best and and we hope it just continues to get bigger and better no worries yeah thank you very much well this has been pop turn if youtube.com slash pop turn for previous episodes until next time this is aiden minx and pd beats signing off thank you for tuning in to pop turn Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.